Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Cookie Spiritualist channel. It is September the 14th, 2020. Let's get into Monday's Divine Guidance reading. I am bringing you the reading from Ganache. Uh, we're flowing with the energy with the new moon coming in on the 17th. This is the oracle deck that I'm using, Whispers of the Lord Ganache. Uh, I'm very familiar with his energy, so we'll be flowing with this deck, uh, Oracle deck, and it will be beautiful flow going into the new moon. So stay tuned for the new moon ritual that will be coming up. Join our altar vigil as well with Ganache flowing into the super moon in Virgo. Let's get it in. All right. Now, with the card for today is Be Candid by Ganache. This is the card of the day. Be Candid by Ganache. Be Candid. Now, what is the divine and source Spirit guy is saying with this, uh, with Ganache's energy is stating coming into this flow of this week. And a lot of energy flows around this view, beautiful uh, God that is influential in this time right now going in. Okay. So what he's saying here is express your truth. Express your truth, even if it is risky. So Ganache is asking uh, you first, before expressing yourself, take some deep breaths. Um, think about what you are going to say. You want you won't come so that you won't come across as rough or uncaring when you communicate. Okay. So in the past, you have tried to maintain peace by staying um, by staying quiet or swallowing your words. Okay. Um, but have faith that open communication, open and honest communication can bring in resolution. Um, since this card here, be candid. It's the card for the day. Be candid um, with um, your communication. It also indicates that someone's words have created a moment of clarity for you too. So it's going to bring in resolution, um, communication, and someone else's words may even bring in more a moment or more clarity to you. Remember to be open to others' views um, or arguments. Let your emotions um, flow without blocking them. And Ganache is very good about removing blocks in our role and blocks in our voice. Using the teal color here, what Ganache represents the throat chakra okay so um in saying that you want to speak honestly letting your emotions flow without blockage um speak it honestly but with compassion even if you have um even if you haven't before try to write down your thoughts of the way you're going to communicate with other people in this manner so your communication is clear okay uh, you can go to our website at https double colon slash slash the spiritualist seven dot com for Ganache's new moon altar vigil. It starts on the 17th of September, which is this Thursday, with the new moon, the super moon. Okay, and you can schedule a reading with us as well on our website. Now, as I clarify our card, which is surrender, that's our clarifier card, is surrender. After the conversations, surrender. Surrender this challenge in communication. For a while, you want to retreat in a calm state to replenish your energy and regain your composure, stabilizing your energy. Okay, so you want to stabilize yourself after this communication that's going to be uh, transpiring. Okay, now sometimes the readings may or may not resonate with you. That is okay. Keep a journal, log in, check the weekly, daily divine throughout the week, and you'll see how it combines itself and run along with the moon cycles and astrological forecasts as well. So the astrological forecast for this coming up week and for today, the weekly astrological forecast is up on the website underneath the North Node blog. <clears throat> All about focus, be gentle for this Monday. Be focused, be gentle, and create new patterns. The first half of this week, the moon is in her final phase called the balsamic um, phase. 
the eighth of eight phase Luna goes through each month, okay? So for this Monday, uh, the 14th, part of the Tuesday as well, the 15th, she is in the sign of Leo. And that should inspire you to finish up older, old, older creative projects, okay? Any kind of creative endeavors you are passionate about, not just artistic, okay? Whatever your passion is. Also, during this lunar phase, the final 45 degrees before the new moon, I remind us to let things simmer as well. If you feel stuck about something, be sure and take some private time to rest, relax, and simply allow things to be as they are and not get stuck in too many details. This definitely plays a part of what Ganache is saying about surrender. I clarify our card mm -hmm. being candid. But our surrender is allowing us to relax after these conversations. Um, I have many uh, affiliates with the North Node tribe and friends and co-workers and different things like that. They are artistic, and meaning artists. Not artistic, but artists. And whatever they artist, artistry is, it can be many ways, engineering, so many ways that we are very artistic in things, okay? But with this monthly lunar phase, it reminds reminds me of the end of a project and a dilemma that some of you have when you're nearing the end of a project. You're not sure if you are done yet. You add certain things to it, but this lunar cycle, this lunar phase says to pause for a few days and let things settle down. Settle down. <laughs> By doing this, you can create a space you need and will know more in a few days when the moon finishes this cycle, okay? So we want to make sure that we're doing that, all right? So click that wiggly bell down below so you can get the notifications here on the Ecliptic Spiritualist channel. Go on, go on and check us out on our website at https double colon slash slash ecliptispiritualist7.com. You can go there and schedule and book your appointments for intuitive readings, spell word, metaphysical supplies, join the Alta Visual, as well as you know we offer our classes Spirit School North Node, our Flowers in the Attic Book Club, so much more metaphysical supplies, so much more, right? And saying that, I love you for watching today. Get ready for our week full of ganache readings. Um, his flow coming in, adding itself into his focus is on the 17th. His energy is very powerful with this new moon, so we're doing a lot of tailoring of our altar visual, and not only that, with um, our readings this week. So, Go on and get familiar with Ganache if you're not already. I will have a video up explaining about him. I've been working with him for years. Uh, he's a great road opener and a block, and he removes so many blockages out of our way. A lot of similarities to Alegua, all right? One of the Orishans. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.